Welcome to Mike's Tech and Toys. Tech and Toys. Welcome. Welcome to Mike's Tech and Toys. Tech and Toys. And today, I unbox and take a look at the Philips PicoPix PPX4935 Pocket Projector. So in the box, you get an instruction manual, the projector, a nice handy case, the power adapter, a remote control, two plug accessories for the power adapter, and a mini to full size HDMI cable. Now, just before I show you this thing in action, it's really important to tell you, and this is something I'm really excited about, that this little projector is fully wireless. The only time you really need to use a cable is when you're charging it. And that's it. It's got a built-in battery, it's wireless, it has Bluetooth connectivity. I tell you what, let me just tell you the complete list of functions that this pocket projector has. It's an Android based remote control pocket projector. It has 350 lumens, 720p high definition resolution, so that's 1280 by 720 pixel. It has Wi Fi connectivity to other devices or to go online. It also has Bluetooth connectivity. You can even mount it on a stand or a tripod. It has an internal rechargeable battery, which will last up to two hours continuously. It projects movies, photos and games up to 150 inches in widescreen. It has an integrated media player. It has wireless connectivity for notebooks, smartphones and tablets. It has a micro SD card slot, so you can play media directly from that card. It has a powerful built-in speaker, or you can connect it to a Bluetooth speaker for much bigger sound. It even has a touchpad on the top of the projector, exactly like one that you would find on a laptop. It has USB, HDMI, VGA, component and composite connectivity. It supports many different video formats, such as AVI, MP4, DivX, Windows Movie Files and more. It supports photo formats such as JPEG, BMP, PNG and more. It also features manual focusing and manual keystone correction. Right, so the first thing you have to do is get it charged up. I believe it takes up to three hours from a flat battery to fully charged. And you'll know it's charging by this red light on the power button. That red light will change when it's fully charged. Right now, Whilst I activate my screen to come down from the ceiling, it's worth noting that this is truly a pocket portable projector. So you can shine this image or whatever movie or photos that you want to project from this projector onto any flat surface, preferably white or off-white or cream, just something neutral and plain, and you should get a nice sharp image. 
You don't have to have a screen like me to use this projector. In fact, that will defeat the whole purpose of a portable projector if you can't just throw the image up on any old wall. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it has a really handy touchpad on the top of this projector. So you can use it just like you would use a laptop's touchpad. Or you could just use the supplied remote control. So I'm just going through the initial setup of the projector. But please note, this is being filmed with a camera. So it's a camera effectively filming a screen being displayed on your screen. So if you see any flickering or any poor image quality, it's purely down to that. The fact that a camera is filming a screen being displayed on your screen. What I see right here is a pin sharp perfect image. Right, so this is where this projector comes into its own. Would you look at this interface? It's showing me that I can have HDMI connectivity, I can open up a media folder, I can do screen mirroring so I can have my mobile phone and whatever I see on my mobile will be projected up onto the wall or a screen. And that would be the same for tablets and more. And get this, I can even go on the internet without the use of a laptop or a computer. And that's because it has its own built-in browser. I can also open up apps and you have your settings mode. So right now I'm going to demonstrate how you can put a micro SD card directly into this projector and play movie files or display photos. And again, I must remind you, if you're seeing some form of flickering on your screen, I'm not seeing that. You're only seeing that because I'm filming a screen which has been displayed on your screen. It's pin sharp and picture perfect from where I am. So right now what you're seeing are a series of photos on that micro SD card being displayed through the projector. And remember, this projector can produce screen sizes of up to 150 inches. Imagine that. Imagine playing a movie for you and your friends using this tiny little pocket projector and you're getting a screen size that big. Awesome. So right now what you're seeing is a video file of one of my YouTube videos and from what I can see, it's playing perfectly. The sound is awesome coming from this little projector. I really wasn't expecting it to be that powerful. But do remember, you can connect way more powerful speakers if you wish. And do remember, you're not just restricted to using little micro SD cards to play movies. You can connect a Blu-ray player, you can connect a DVD player, you can connect almost anything to play movies through this projector, just like any other projector. The only difference is this one fits in the palm of your hand or your pocket and is totally wireless with a built-in battery. So I've just turned the lights on so you can truly see I'm holding this projector in my hand with no wires, cables or anything. And you can see that you still get a pretty decent image, even with the lights on. It's a 48 inch Darth Vader Battle Buddy. So what I wanna show you now is how to do the screen mirroring thing. So that I can display whatever's on my mobile phone screen up on the wall. So you simply get your phone, Activate the screen mirroring on your phone, which most, if not all, smartphones have. Then you go to the menu on the projector. You then choose the screen mirroring. Oh, and at this point, all you Apple users, yes, it also works with iOS and Windows. And of course, Android. And then in a few moments, your phone will connect and you should see PPX4935 on your mobile device. You then select it, and then you're good to go. And now anything that is displayed on my mobile 
will also be displayed on my wall or screen. And there it is. How cool is that? Now you will notice a little lag, but as far as the audio and the screen on the wall are concerned, those are synced perfectly. It's just a little lag between the signal coming from the phone and it being reproduced on the wall. And do remember, you can also connect your gaming console to this projector, like a PlayStation or an Xbox, and enjoy your gaming on a screen of up to 150 inches. What a fantastic bit of kit. So I'm going to leave you now with a series of screenshots of what you get within the menu system of this projector. Make sure you check out the video description below for full specifications, where you can buy this from, and what sort of price you would be expected to pay. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Mike's Tech and Toys. Oh, and please do follow me on my social media. Details are also in the video description.